So let us read it together. This then is how you should pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Amen. Uh, today's my sermon title is Baba Yetu. So this week and this Sunday and next Sunday, I will explain about the meaning of the Lord's Prayer. So Baba Yetu is a Swahili the language. The meaning is our father. Baba means a father. Yetu means our. So let me read it in Swahili. Baba Yetu, Yetu Uliye. Umbiguni yetu yetu amina. Baba yetu yetu liye. Umjina okya. Umjina lakure little kusuwe. Baba yetu yetu liye. Umbiguni yetu yetu amina. Using Han. She she is ready to play the drum, but she disappeared. So let me let me sing this song for you. God 
is our Father. That is the first, the fundamental meaning of the, the Lord's Prayer. So let us read the Matthew chapter 6, verse 9. Ready? So, this then is how we should pray. Our Father in heaven, how be your name? Before we learn about the meaning of the Lord's Prayer, let us think about the historical background of the book of Matthew. So the Gospel, they composed the five books, the Mark, Matthew, Mark, and Luke, and John. So four books, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. So especially the book of Matthew was written, the time is AD 70. The, the time in AD 70, what happened? The Roman Emperor Vespasianus and Titus, Titus, they conquered the Jerusalem temple and they destroyed the temple or then killed so many Judean people. At that time, so that the book of Matthew is written for the Jewish Christians. The Jewish Christians. But think about the Jewish Christians. The Judeans, they liked the Moses teaching. Moses, they really like Moses. So that's why they only think about the, the Pentateuch, the Moses five books. Do you know Pentateuch? The meaning of Pentateuch? How about what does it mean Penta? Five. five. And Penta is a Greek word which means five. How about tube? Tube means laws. So five laws. So so-called Moses Pentateuch. Five books we can say Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. So when you open the Bible, it's very, very interesting. You know, chapter five, do you know what in the, the chapter five? Sermon on the Mount, Jesus' teachings. This this is the, the author Matthew intentionally composed when he composed. The book of Matthew, intentionally, he wants to highlight this. How about opening the chapter 5, Sermon on the Mount. So, when you, when you read the Bible, very, very interesting. Moses teaches this, but I am saying this. It doesn't mean Jesus' teaching is more powerful. Jesus' teaching is more important than Moses'. So let us read this one. Matthew chapter 5, verses 38 and 39. Ready? So, you have heard that it was said, I for I and tooth for tooth. But I tell you, do not resist an evil person. If anyone slaps you on the right cheek, turn to them the other cheek also. So Matthew highlighted that. You have heard that, okay, Moses is teaching, eye for eye, you know, and then the tooth for tooth. But I tell you, do not resist an evil. So it means he want to say, Jesus' teaching is more powerful, especially for Jewish Christians. Now let us focus on the meaning of God is our Father. In chapter 6, so many people, they want to know about the, how to pray, how to pray to God. That time, so many people, especially Pharisees, they, when they pray to God, they bubble the bubbling. Because they think, keep telling something, then God will respond to my prayer. But Jesus, he want to say, before, when you pray, you should say, Our Father. So, in Greek, Our Father. Father, in Greek, is Patel. So, repeat after me, Patel. Patel, Patel is a Father. And Jesus, even he, when He called God, Abba. You know, Patel is a Father. In the book of the you know, New Testament, so many times, Jesus, when he called God as Abba, <laughs> it's very interesting. In Korean, you know, when we call our father, we say 
Appa. It's like a very, very, you know, very intimate concept. You know, my father, my daddy, my daddy. So, how about us? Galatians chapter 4, verse 4 to 7. So let us read together. Ready? So, but when the set time and the glory come, God sent his son, born of the woman, born under the law, to redeem those under the law that we might receive adoption and salvation. Because you are his sons, God sent the spirit of his son into our hearts. The spirit of calls us. Abba, Father, so you are no longer a slave, but God's child. And since you are his child, God has made you also an heir. So I try to find the other language. The African, Abba is Baba. How about Laos? I try to find the, the how can I say uh, Abba? So I I found Po, right? Yes. <laughs> po in Laos, Appa. Appa. What do you think about Appa? When you call your father Appa, what does it mean? My experience, Appa, whenever I call Appa, my heart you know, like moved by the word Appa, Appa. So, when I was when I studied the, the Bible, the you know and PhD program in the US, and for nine years I studied the Bible. Before I went to US, my father, Appa, my mother, mommy, they're so healthy. <laughs> yeah. And then after nine years, I came back to and from the US and I came back to here, South Korea, and I met my Appa. Of there, time passed, time shift. My father, Appa, totally changed. You know, before I went to the U.S., he was so healthy, but now, before me, he losing power. And then, so, I, but the, I could say, still say, Appa, and he said, okay, my son, and he hugged me. And I suddenly I cried out, Appa, Appa. It's like today, do you have any prayer request? When you pray to God, you call to the Father, Appa. But a long, long time ago, the, the period of the New Testament, so many times they thought of our God is in the heaven. It's not Father, it's not Appa. Distance from here, so, over there, in the heaven, why? Because long, long time ago, the Greek influence, the Hellenistic influence, God only exists in the heaven. That's why Jesus Christ, he wanted to say, Abba, your father, your daddy is with you. Not in the heaven, not only in the heaven, but here, right now, with you. How about let us cry, let us call together. Appa! Appa. Appa. Your voice is so beautiful. Would you, would you say it louder? Appa! Appa. 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 Appa! You know, you have a son and daughter. You might say, oh, Daniel, you have a, your son and daughter. How's your feelings? And your son tell, Appa, how's your feelings? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then you, mommy, it's so really good. Mommy, Appa, so friendly. Appa, I have uh, issues. Appa, I have to resolve my financial issues. Appa, I don't have big burdens. Appa, I have a psychological problem. Appa, and he will listen to your voice. I am here. I'm not only in the kingdom of heaven, I'm here right now with you. Appa is with you. Amen. So that's why Jesus Christ he said, when you pray, Abba. So next to one, let's read together. Ready? So God will be God on earth. And let us read Matthew chapter 6, verse 10 together. Your kingdom come, your will be done 
on earth as it is in heaven. I was considering the meaning of chapter 6 and verse 10, your will. What does it mean, your will? I especially focused on your will. Will in Greek is thelema. So repeat that to me, thelema. Thelema. The Greek word thelema literally means will or purpose. Today, we need to think about the will of God. And St. Augustine, he interpreted the Lord's Prayer, the will of God, and he said like this, if you love God, you are free to act according to your will. Since a man who loves God will naturally select the path of a virtue. Yes, because your daddy, your alpha, your God loves you so much. But you bear in mind, you need to think about the will of God. When God created the human beings, God let us choose bad or good. It's like a free will. Think about Adam and Eve, and God gave him free will. That's why he could choose, he could eat the fruit, the wisdom. And then we need to choose right choice, the will of God, the good, his purpose. How about today? So many people, they following their own desires. Some people, they hate our neighbors. Do you think this is the purpose of God? Do you think this is the will of God? Nowadays, think about Ukraine, the war, the brother Putin, the Russian president, he intentionally invaded the Ukraine. Why? Because that is my purpose, that is my desire. God gave him free will, but he chose, he chose the bad things, not good. God created us. So when you pray, Alpha, your will, the will of God, don't want hurt. Now, I was searching about the, who followed the, the will of God. Yes, Jesus Christ, he followed the will of God. So nowadays, I'm very interested in the, Afri the African missionary, especially found this man. His name is the Father John Lee Tessup, uh, Tessup Lee. And he, he is a doctor and teacher and priest. And he graduated at uh, Inje University, and he got the degree of a doctor degree. So I'm happy to join today, you know, <laughs> Missionary Park. He was a surgeon, you know, he'll join today. You know, Tessa Lee, and he went to uh, Tones, South of Sudan, in 2004. And he worked for the Africa, the Sudan Tones, so many children. And he also, he dug well, and he made uh, so many buildings and medicine clinics. So I, I, I found a day, 30 patients visited the medicine clinic. And he also, he carried out, and he managed the 35 breast bending and drumming and playing that, you know, the performance. And then so many tones, African people, moved by Tessalonians his dedication. But suddenly, something wrong in his body. In 2000, 2008, he found he got the colon cancer. That's why he had to return to South Korea to take care of his cancer. And he wanted to recover, but then he had passed away. In 2000, 2010, he passed away. But his spirit, Abba, the will of God still in tones. Nowadays, so many Africans, the Sudan, the tones, the people, they still, you know, managing the medicine clinics and helping others following the will of God. That's the purpose of God. Now, I prepared a short clip about the his life. So let us watch this uh, clip together.
있기 때문에 그들을 더 사랑해 이런 것보다 조건 없이 사랑하는 거 그냥 내가 대신님이 그랬을 때 너무 행복하셨을 것 같아요 
Bear in mind the will of God here on earth, done on earth. God gave us the free will, but when but we sometimes just choose bad things, choose good things, the will of God here. Like a father test me. So let us pray together. Father, we pray to God. We pray to God. We call your name. Abba, Father, we want to say, Father, I have big burdens. I have uh, troubles. I have a relationship, the problems, issues, the financial issues. I have to work. I have to study. What should I do? I will call your name. Abba. Please listen to my prayer request. Listen to my prayer request. Abba. Father, I pray to you to the Lord. The will of God done. God, please come to you. Our Father, thank you for today's message, the Lord's Prayer, Baba Yetu. Let us call your name, Baba, for and Abba, Daddy. Father, let us love our neighbors, our friends, as we follow your will. Please change our place into the kingdom of the heaven. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Thank you. Uh, I